I am Australian. Some of my first races and successes were in Geelong, ironically enough. It's a place I called home um, and the place where I did my pre-season preparation for the, my biggest victories in my career was on the road around Bowen Heads in Geelong. I, I suppose I'm looking towards the future and the race being an event which I hope will grow and become a bigger and more prestigious and significant event in Australian sport but also in the world of cycling. As, a, as an elite cyclist here, see the benefit of coming down to Australia, training in the good weather and, and not only racing and racing for good points early in the season, but also in terms of preparation for the first part of the season back in Europe. This is a very, very good lineup, and a lot of them are here because they want to say in the years ahead they rode in this event. I want the Great Ocean Road Race to be something for everyone and of course anyone, male or female, can enter the people's ride but also we have all these fantastic female riders in Australia and also overseas hoping to, hoping to race in that time of the year or maybe they want to, they'd like to be in Australia to train to prepare for the, for the races around the world in the international season. This is a first real hammer down situation. Maxim Bouet across the top of the climb. He collects maximum points in the race for the Silver Room King of the Mountains jersey. And the crowd, rightly so, is enormous at the top of the climb. Well, Cadell Evans is coming across to that group. Slightly distanced on the climb by Caruso, who's joined the front. 85 kilometer an hour straight through it. As we all breathe in for the narrow approach to the base of the climb again. Out of the bowels of the surf coast comes the breakaway. All these riders have just been told the same things by their team managers. They've got to get something out of this race. Oh, oh dear me, that's a shame. He's the champion of the mountains of Geelong. Who's going to win the race, though? The sprinters are getting control of this now as Luke Rowe comes up, a rider who hasn't won a race since 2012. And is this going to be the one as he comes up to the line? It's Johnny Mearsman. Mearsman gets it on the line and punches the sky. The first edition of the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race, it's been won by Johnny Mearsman. Perhaps he'll come back next year to defend it. As for Cadell Evans, it's a whole new journey in front of him. Australia's greatest one-day race, right here in my backyard.